Hello there, my name's Annette with Sunbeam Fabric Art. Welcome to my channel. I ask a lot from my sewing machine. I've had it for about six years now and I really don't clean it as often as I should, but today's the day. The first thing you see me doing is laying out all my tools. I have a little vacuum set that I got somewhere. I don't even know what brand it is. It has a little attachment with a nozzle. I've got a nice little mini screwdriver set that uh, was a gift. I've got the brush that originally came with my machine. I've got my oil and a couple of other little tools and I'm ready to go. The first thing I'm doing is removing the bobbin and then this acrylic um, custom piece that fits around my sewing machine and I'm dusting. Lots and lots of dust. The next thing I do is use all my fancy little tools to unscrew the covers that I need to unscrew to get this machine cleaned out. And this is why you should never wait too long to clean your machine. It was so bad that some of my dust particles had turned into felt underneath my bobbin. I'm using the brush that came with my machine, which works pretty good, but I also have some of these little tiny, um, they're almost like a skinny, skinny plastic Q-tip with a tiny, tiny piece of something to grab fibers on the end, and you may see me using that as well. I use both of these tools a lot. Once I get the major pieces of dust out of the bobbin compartment, then I start utilizing some of the other tools, which is this uh, little vacuum with a nozzle attachment. You can see I've got the end cap on the left completely off of my machine, and my local sewing machine company told me that I can do this. Just take off that end, blow air through there, and it'll just fly out on the left-hand side. They told me that after I had to take it to the shop one time because there was so much dust in it, I almost locked it up completely and they had to clean it. Make sure you reference your owner's manual for your machine and talk to your local sewing machine repair shop and find out what they recommend for your machine. I pretty much know how to take everything apart and clean the inside, but when it comes time to oil the machine, that's where I forget. I forget where the individual drops of oil are supposed to go. Once I am satisfied that everything is clean, everything sounds good, I start putting everything back together again. You might notice that my sewing machine cabinet, it does have a table for my sewing machine that goes up and down. I can actually store my machine underneath the tabletop, or I can raise it up to be even with the top of the table. I actually bought this cabinet at my local machine repair shop, and they ordered the custom acrylic insert for me that fits on there. And last, make sure you spend some time and test your stitches. Um, sometimes oil, maybe if you oil too much, that might come through on your fabric. You wanna make sure none of that is happening, that everything is clean and working properly before you start sewing on a real project. Well, I'm all done here, everything looks good, and now I'm ready to sew again. I hope this was a good reminder for you. I do thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you back again real soon.